Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to another discussion, another review about the anime of the summer 2021 season. Today, we're going to be discussing Girlfriend, Girlfriend, or Kanojo Mo Kanojo. This one was an interesting one of the series, a season, I should say. <clears throat> but I have mixed feelings on it. Quite mixed feelings. So let me refresh you. The story is about the main character, Naoya, and his two girlfriends, Saki and uh, Minase. So, or, yeah. I was thinking something else was gonna happen, but hold on. Anyway, <clears throat> it's about their relationship and how it kind of goes. So it starts out with, uh, you know, him just dating Saki and then uh, Minase or Nagisa uh, confesses to him. And so he's like, oh shit, let's go ask my girlfriend if we can date as well. And so they end up in like a, uh, a three-way relationship sort of thing where they're all kind of dating and living together and whatnot. And, it's all the uh, the drama and romance that ensues with them trying to hide their relationship from others and also uh, trying to get closer as a group <coughs> and uh, share now. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's kind of what the, this show is about. It is a very interesting take on romance. Um, I'm not entirely sure I've ever seen a uh, like a romance harem anime where the main character was just straight up, let's all just fucking date. Uh, it's usually like, it's a whole if, will they, won't they kind of thing that happens. And then at the end, either none of them are chosen or one of them is chosen over the others. Uh, there, there could be some out there that I have not seen that do have multiple. Um, but specifically, this one was, was interesting. Just because off the bat, it went from, you know, him having one girlfriend to being like, Let's just have a girlfriend right now. Like, straight up just, bam, man does it. He just goes for it. Like, god damn. I was surprised. Um, I, I was definitely expecting something different on the first episode. But that's uh, that's how, how it goes. So that, that's what the story is. It's about them doing a three-way affair kind of thing. Uh, and all that good nonsense. Now, there are, like I said, some good and some bad things. The good things is the art style is great. It's, it's real clean, real neat, real nice. Um, the characters are fun um, and all that kind of stuff. And as you can see, there's, there's four girls here. So I was thinking <clears throat> at some point he was going to get like a, a huge harem. Like he was going to get like four girls. And so it does not happen. Uh, the blonde haired girl comes in about halfway through, I think, and starts to like get feelings and whatnot and stuff goes on between them. And then right at the end, like the last two episodes, the white haired girl, like, it shows what her feelings are. Um, and it's weird um, at the end. <clears throat> I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, so it's not like what I thought it was going to be where he's going to end up with all four of them at the same time. Because uh, that would be too great, in my opinion, to actually have that show up. But yeah, the, the one thing that I could not stand is the main character. The main character made the whole series just so cringy. And so, like, secondhand embarrassment, kind of, you know? Because what he'll frequently do is talk really loud and really, like, bluntly. Um, he'll, like, go up to, like, Saki and tell her how much he loves her and hug her in, like, a classroom or in public. And he'll just, like, talk about, you know, relationship stuff, like, in public with people, like, looking at them. And it's it's even worse because... In the anime, people actually turn and look at them. They don't just ignore them. They don't have, like, no one in the background. No, it's like people are actually looking at them. So it's like, oh, my God, dude, just just stop. Just dial it back. Um, and so that led me to actually have to skip through a bit of the uh, the show because I could not stand how embarrassing it was. Uh, <laughs> so <clears throat> that happened. But if, if, if it would have just dialed him back a little bit, I feel, it would have been a lot better. Um, but I think they made him that way to show like how like devoted he is for his, his girlfriends and how serious he is about the whole thing. But they could have dialed it back and made him like a normal person who like just talks eloquently and, uh, you know, expresses his, you know, 
his love that way instead of being a, a complete weirdo shouting from the top of his lungs every goddamn time he talks, more or less. Uh, so I, I really could not stand him if literally any of the character was the main character. I think I could have done it. We could have had like an edgy boy uh, be the back, be the main character, and I think it would have been much better. Like a, a, a Chuni, Chuni Bio could have been like the main character, talking all about my, uh, my Dark Flame Master and shit like that, you know? But uh, uh, it would have been so much better now that I think about it. Jesus Christ. I would have been insane. So, so yeah. The... Uh, Really, really mixed for me on it. Um, if there is a second season, I'm probably not going to watch it just because the main character is so annoying to me. Um, all the girls are great. Uh, they're, they're perfect. I enjoyed every single one of them and how their relationships developed. But I really would like the main character to just go the fuck away. <laughs> that's all there is to that. Um, so that's my whole take on the show. Uh, interesting things develop. The uniforms are really cute. Like, look, they're, they're really adorable, aren't they? Like the, the huge ribbons and like the way that they button up, like in, in the side kind of thing. It's really cute. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kind of rambling now. Oh, I hate the main character so much, y'all. So much. Oh my God. I was like, first episode, I was like, okay, he's a little over the top, you know, whatever. That's fine. But Oh my God, it continued throughout the entire show. It dialed back like a little bit after like the first episode for like two episodes. And then it went straight back to the top with him being like, ah, all the time. Like, oh my God. Luckily, I was able to watch most of it. And I really just had to like skip past stuff where it was like them in public being very like disgusting. Um, I could not stomach that stuff. So I just had to... Uh, you know, skip ahead a couple minutes in a couple of episodes to get rid of that stuff because that stuff does not sit well with me. Although, even though there is a drama tag on the uh, the series, I believe, there's not any bad drama. Like, there's no, like, that gut-sinking feeling of, like, bad shit happening kind of drama going on. It's just, oh... How's this going to work out between everyone? Ooh, that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap things up because I'm just kind of rambling about how much I hate the main character. So, I, uh, if you like cringy, like, secondhand embarrassment romance stuff, this is your uh, your go-to. Uh, check that out. But other than that, like, if you, uh, if you just mute whenever the main character speaks, uh, it might be okay. <laughs> just, uh... Maybe, maybe maybe like download all the episodes and just like take away the audio where the main character talks and uh, everything will be fine. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I enjoyed it for the most part, except for the main character, as I mentioned. It was an interesting concept. I would have loved to see it explored better uh, without that main character. But yeah, check it out or don't. That's all I got to say for this review. So until next time, everyone. Bye for now.